Hey, Dr. Karen Can, welcome, hello, hello. So I'm doing this little video as part of my mini series, my little mini series on coronavirus pandemic, how to stay happy, healthy, and more harmonious. So today's topic is going to be twofold as all the other videos have been. So the first half is going to be more practical things and the second is gonna be more metaphysical or spiritual in nature. So this is only for people who are interested in the body-mind-soul connection when it comes to health and wellness. So if that is not you, um, okay, this video is not right for you, but if you are interested in the body-mind-spirit connection to wellness and health and healing, then listen up. Uh, I just wanna make a little disclaimer here that even though I'm a medical doctor, the advice I'm giving you is not professional medical advice, per se, uh, nor is it psychological advice. So if in, hi Yvonne, so if you are um, concerned at all about it, please check in with your healthcare practitioner. You know, we're supposed to be saying these things, right? Anyway, <laughs> so, so it's such a lot of extra words that I really feel is not really necessary and I'm just doing it anyway. Thanks mom. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so today's topic is going, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I love my mom. Um, so today's topic is around, um, well, there's a, there's a couple of different topics we have. So one of the topics is around uh, one thing that people are doing that they don't even realize is actually extremely harmful to their health and wellness and affects uh, their systems, including, of course, the immune system, which we are all concerned about right now. So what is that one thing? Can you guess? All right, now this is, uh, this is true of the uh, first world, so to speak. So the technological world. And what it is, is this. We actually, as you know, high-tech people, are surrounded by electromagnetic frequencies and waves all the time. Just the electricity coming through the walls actually is at 60 hertz, which affects our nervous system and actually causes some stress response. So of course I'm not asking you to get rid of all the electricity in your house, right? Just to be healthier. Although those people with chronic illnesses such as fibromyalgia and adrenal fatigue syndrome can often feel a major difference in how they feel when we have a blackout when there's no electricity, when all their devices are off, when the Wi-Fi when the Wi-Fi is off and everything's off. It's amazing how much better they feel. Now they don't have that resilience to electromagnetic frequencies that uh, that other people have because they're chronically ill. They can build that back up, and that's really cool. And uh, as an aside, we can even become even more than normal resilience to these sort of waves. So the one thing that most people are doing is they're keeping their cell phone on and they're keeping their cell phone on near them. And, and in, 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 you know, right now in the situation is that we are uh, home, we are socially distancing, so a lot of people are connecting through their devices, through their computers, uh, through their cell phones, right? I mean, we are currently, I'm currently on my cell phone, you know, connecting with you on Facebook. Here's the thing, there's one thing you can do to really help yourself and get your body into a rejuvenative or more rejuvenative state, and that is to turn off your cell phone at night when you sleep. Okay, let me say that again. Turn off your cell phone at night when you sleep. Don't have any electronics that are on or plugged in or even charging, okay, near your head or your body at night. And why is that? Well the your body is and your body's nervous system is sort of like a receiver so when you have electromagnetic fields that are not positive energies in other words not beneficial energies to the body when the body is sleeping it's in a very vulnerable state and in that state uh, that state is supposed to be a healing state for you. When you are sleeping, you're supposed to be healing. That's when your body rejuvenates itself, regenerates itself. This is well known in science. I'm not talking about anything that's too woo woo here at the moment. So when you have this cell phone radiating microwaves next to you in bed, do you really think that's a good idea? And the answer is no, <laughs> it's not a good idea. Um, you know, there are young men who are now sterile or more sterile because they have been with their cell phones in their pocket all this time. So 
fertility rates are going down, but not just for that reason, for other reasons as well, including nutrition. Uh, there's a book uh, by Pam Colleen called uh, Survival of the Unfittest, <laughs> and she talks about the nutritional piece of that. Right now I'm talking about the electromagnetic part of that. So if you want your body to rejuvenate, including, of course, having a strong immune system, you definitely want to have what we call EMF hygiene. So you want to have a healthier space, um, especially where you sleep, because that is where, where you are most vulnerable in that state. It's like your boundaries go down, so to speak. Not, not depending on the person, not not literally, but it's it's like um, uh, that's why when people can sleep with like positive brainwave entra uh, entrainment music or something like that, it gets you into a more positive. Uh, state and your body can heal. So Marianne says, I have no TV, phone, or computer in my bedroom, never. I even start turning my stuff off when I'm not needing it. I love that, I love that. I have a case of a woman who was coming to me for acupuncture many, many years ago, not recent. And uh, she had, I think, about 11 years of insomnia. And uh, she would get better with acupuncture, but you know, she never really made as much progress as I would have liked. And there's certain lifestyle things that it was a little bit hard to convince her of. But finally, at one point, I. She said something about watching TV in the bedroom. I'm like, whoa, wait a second. In my EMF hygiene PDF that y'all get as a patient, uh, it clearly says no electronics like that in the bedroom. She says, well, it's my husband. He really likes to watch TV in bed and I, we fall asleep with the TV on. And I was like, oh, you know. <laughs> uh, luckily she didn't have a cell phone, which made it worse. And I said, okay, do me a favor. I said, can you can you please unplug the TV and the VCR? Back then we had VCRs, okay, that's how long ago. And she goes, what? I mean, the time is gonna get all messed. I said, I know, I know, I know. Just humor me, humor me. So unplug the TV, unplug the, uh, you know, TV, uh, what do you call it, the uh, VCR. Unplug everything, the satellite, okay? Nothing in your bedroom that's plugged in aside from obviously your reading light or something like that. So she's like, okay, you know, she comes back the next time she goes, OMG, I slept through the night. In other words, she's been going 11 years with insomnia and uh, multiple years of acupuncture for insomnia, <laughs> which was working temporarily, but not until she <laughs> turned, uh, not turned off, unplugged and I said she said why does it work when it's unplugged and that one is turned off I said well in the case of the TV and VCR and all that kind of stuff there's still power going to those devices okay now I know if you have a computer in your room you're a student it's a little bit more challenging uh, you know literally ideally unplug it from the wall okay your computer battery whatever so yeah so that was it cured her insomnia she didn't have to come back to the office <laughs> Yeah, so so do that. I know a lot of you are saying that now. Some people are like, oh my gosh, but I have my cell phone for emergencies. I understand. Um, what we do in that case, now if you have a cordless phone, it's the same sort of thing. It's like having a mini cell tower in your house. Now I have um, a special phone, shoot, what's it called? A decked phone? It's from Gigaset, it's from Germany. And uh, what happens is with most cordless phones, um, especially the high-end new stuff, is that it constantly connects the handset with the main, um, the, the main um, charger thingy. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, and um, it's constantly communicating. So it's like having a cell communication all the time. Whereas the phone that I have just periodically checks in. Oh, there you are. Okay, there's the there's the main, you know. So it's not a constant signal throughout. Um, anyway, that, I'm not explaining the tech very well. But just so you know that cordless phones are not preferred. Corded phones are the safest, especially to have near your head and in the bedroom. And um, if you have to charge your phone overnight, you know, put it in a room far away from your body, uh, preferably off. Um, I know some people feel like that's going to overcharge your phone, which is possible. So you may want to get like a power pack to, to do that. Um, so Cheryl, Cheryl says, uh, I leave my cell on but plugged in the bathroom. That way I will hear it ring in an emergency, but it isn't beside me. I've been sleeping better since I began. Yeah. So the other thing too that I highly recommend for cell phones is um, uh, an EMF transformer device. There's, uh, there's two companies that I've been using with 
good results, who have data. I love companies that do research, right? Because <laughs> you just don't have, you know, I mean, there's a lot of companies out there, put the sticker on, it works, and I'm like, okay, well, prove it to me. So, um, so one is Energy Tools International. They have an EMF transformer. Uh, I can't show it to you because it's on my phone and I'm using my phone. But it's on the back of my phone and it's uh, kind of a, it's a energy infused um, thing that sticks on the back of the phone. And the cool thing is they spent over $30,000 researching this, okay? So we're talking the main, I mean, these guys are serious. So they showed that with the EMF transformer versus without, that the head doesn't get overstimulated, the brain does not get overstimulated with the EMF transformer on the phone. Now the downside of the EMF transformer, it's a little bit thick. So if people don't like the thickness, it you know might not fit into certain holders. I mean, it's not terribly thick, but um, some people are like, oh, it doesn't you know it doesn't stick to my case because my case isn't flat. So you can stick it on the outside of the case. It doesn't have to be inside the case. Now the other one I use, uh, which works a different way, but actually has human studies, is EarthCon. And uh, Earthcom has a little thingy uh, with circuits in it. It's very thin, and that one does go under the case very, very well. It's pretty pricey, though, uh, but it's, uh, like I said, they have studies on it and showing that it does help uh, support the body's stress system, preventing that stress. So those are the two that I currently recommend right now. I'm sure there's others that are on the market that are great. Um, some of my friends use Safe Sleeve. I haven't used that one uh, specifically. Uh, what happens with that is where it is around, it prevents the radiation from going through as much. Where it is not covering though, um, it potentially, according to Camilla Reese, who's, who's a, um, you know, a, was it Magda Havis or Camilla Reese I interviewed? I can't remember. Ah! Uh, anyway, so she says it can kind of leak outside those areas. If you have like EMF clothing, um, you can actually prevent EMF from escaping from your body as well. So she doesn't recommend uh, the clothing per se. Uh, I think that might be useful in some cases. So I'm looking at you know different kinds of solutions to keep us more resilient. So there are some, uh, um, here comes the spiritual woo-woo stuff. There's some <laughs> uh, resiliency codes, uh, blueprints that you can download and activate to yourself. Um, they're actually infused in the Ascension 3 jewelry in case you have one of the prototypes um, of that. It's also in Ascension 2, one of my MP3s, the resiliency protocols. So uh, I would still recommend you have protection for your cell phone even if you turn it off, even if it's in another room, um, especially if it's connected to your Wi-Fi because your Wi-Fi is also a mini cell tower, tower as well. So a lot of people can drastically improve their health by actually turning off their router or Wi-Fi at night when they sleep. Yeah, I know not popular with the 14 year olds and the 17 year olds, you know, but hey, who pays the bills, right? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we don't wanna find out, which unfortunately we are, but we don't wanna find out, you know, that years from now that our children are infertile because we as parents couldn't put our foot down to say, after this time, router is off. You know what I mean? So they hate you, temporarily. Anyway, that's just my somewhat judgmental, <laughs> my judgmental rant about uh, EMF radiation. So um, if you want the EMF hygiene sheet, there's a lot of other things I talk about that. Uh, it's actually in my group. It's under files, Light Warrior Network. So if you are like-minded, if you're a highly sensitive soul, or at least want to know more about a holistic well-being, you're into angels, that kind of thing, then you can join the Light Warrior Network on Facebook. And uh, once we approve you, then under files, you'll actually see um, some resources. And um, I believe it's called the EMF Hygiene Sheet. It's a PDF, so you can download that, and it has all this diff different advice, okay, including some links and things like that. If you're interested in where to get the uh, EMF Transformer or the EarthCom Quantum Cell for the cell phones, you can get that on my partner's page. Uh, so partners meaning that uh, we are in partnership with each other. So when you, if you buy something through that link, I get like a 10 or 15 percent um, uh, commission for a sale. So just being on the up and up. So I love their stuff. I use their stuff. Uh, I have pretty much everything from Earthcom <laughs> and a lot of stuff from Energy Tools as well. So that's uh, KarenCan.com forward slash partners. So let's talk a little bit about ibuprofen. Okay, so there's a lot in the news about ibuprofen that maybe it's not safe, uh, you know, with the coronavirus because 
you know, people that died had ibuprofen on board. Now, some of those reports were actually false. Um, around, you know, certain ones were false. Uh, but here's the thing. <laughs> From my point of view, okay, ibuprofen has never been safe. Tylenol has never been safe. Have I eaten it like candy in the past? You betcha I did. I was in PT, I was in physical therapy like every week. The PTs here in Lake Plaza used to laugh. Oh, there's Dr. Karen again in PT. What'd you injure this time? <laughs> you know, it was my head or neck or something. I'd started skating, so I was having accidents and things like that. So I was in PT all the time and I ate that stuff like candy. When I worked at UCLA as a professor, I ate that stuff like candy. I, and I could write prescriptions for myself. And then of course I was getting freebies from the drug reps. So, you know, every new fangled whatever uh, under the sun, I was trying because I had pain. I had pain in my knee, I had pain in this, but that, but hip, blah, blah, blah. Neck, you know, so I ate the stuff like candy. And the thing is, is that uh, I now realize, wow, okay. I really set myself up. I really set myself up to have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, all sorts of things. Why? Because those medications are really toxic, especially when chronically used. Now, does it mean that I never, ever, ever use naproxen, my favorite? <laughs> That's the one that works best for me. No, I mean, I will, like, if I have, uh, say, if I have what people would call a splitting headache and I need to be functional, okay, um, I may take a naproxen knowing full well that I'm going to make sure I'm going to repair my body because, because of what I do, the modality that I teach, uh, the healing method that I teach, I can actually check in to see how happy my gut is, you know, how happy the integrity of my gut is, how happy my microbiome is in my belly. So all these questions I can ask and really keep tabs on it. But Here's the thing, it's not so much, it's, okay, so, so let's back up. So why, theoretically, why would it be dangerous, even more dangerous in this case, that uh, people with ibuprofen might die of the coronavirus? Okay, here's the thing. 70% or more of your immune system cells are in your gut. Let me repeat, 70 or 80% approximately of your immune system cells are in your gut. Ibuprofen, is very uh, and, and various different NSAIDs, so ibuprofen, naproxen, relafen, uh, anyway, a lot of them, okay? What they do um, is in the toxicity range, is, uh, uh, sorry, their toxicity is that they make holes in your gut, okay? They cause or contribute to leaky gut. Now, there are other medications do the same thing, antibiotics, through getting rid of your good bacteria, um, steroids like cortisone, things like that, uh, oral cortisone. Uh, stress will decrease the lining of your gut as well. Uh, birth control pills, that's the other one that I had way back when, that didn't help my gut at all. So that combination was really toxic for me. So when your gut lining is not 100% happy, guess what, your immune system goes down. So these people with chronic ibuprofen, I'm not talking about if you just take it once in a great while, but people that have chronic ibuprofen, chronic NSAIDs, um, yeah, of course they're going to be at higher risk potentially of dying of any infection, but you know, COVID-19 because their immune system's compromised. Why is their immune system compromised? Because they have leaky gut due to the toxicity of the ibuprofen and such medications, which also cause other toxicities to other organs, including the kidneys and liver. Um, and what about Tylenol? Well, Tylenol, uh, not so, so supposedly safer for the gut lining. However, it is fairly toxic to the liver, even at regular uh, doses. Um, so you don't wanna take that uh, really long time for another reason. It actually depletes your body of glutathione. Now glutathione is your master antioxidant in your body, which recycles your other antioxidants like vitamin C, which as many people know, is really great for your immune system to have around, right? So if you are really low on glutathione, and most adults are unfortunately low on glutathione, then that's one major antioxidant you do not have. And that, and, and that of course, uh, is part of your immune system as well. 
So of course, uh, those of you that um, are uh, LifeWave distributors and customers at Phototherapy Patch, we do have a patch for that. We do have a glutathione patch, which elevates the glutathione naturally in your body. So you're not taking glutathione in. What you're doing is you're signaling the body to make its own glutathione from the proteins that you already have in your body and uh, to get those levels back up so that in that way, the glutathione then helps supports the immune system. So then you're like, well, what am I gonna do, right? I'm, you know, if you're on ibuprofen, if you're on Tylenol, and now you're scared to take it, I'm, I'm saying don't be scared, okay? But, you know, be smart. Uh, what are the other alternatives to that? Well, there's a lot of herbal alternatives. I'm not an herbalist, so there's other people who certainly you can learn from related to that, like curcumin and, you know, things like that that you can take that are anti-inflammatory, right? So decreased pain. However, I, I, I'm a light medicine doctor, so I use light therapy. And the reason I use light therapy and light phototherapy is because it's fast. It's fast and it's effective, and given what it does, sometimes better than acupuncture, uh, it's cheap. So I'm not saying you don't have to pay for it, but what I'm saying is that for the effect that you get and that it's almost instantaneous results, it's just, it's just a no-brainer for me. Like, why would I want to take a cheaper pill, ibuprofen, hurt my gut, then have to spend all this money repairing it, you know, going to doctors and, and supplements and whatever, okay, or spending more time away from, uh, you know, school or work because I'm so sick, right? Like, I don't want to, you know, go into down that. So for me, uh, investing in, uh, in this case, a product that does the same thing and better that's less toxic or non-toxic, it makes a lot of sense. So in um, the LifeWave company, there's two, uh, well, more than two, but there's there's patches that help with pain. The main one is IceWave. So there's a protocol that you use, and it's right in the brochure, and uh, it helps you release pain. You just have to be well hydrated, you know, for it to work well. So drink lots of water, and it's non-toxic, nothing goes through the skin, and in Chinese medicine, any blockages cause pain. So what it does is it increases the flow of energy through the body, through the blockage, and voila, no pain. I've had people in the past with like hip replacements, surgeries, um, you know, accidents. Uh, people have had stories like people breaking bones on the football field, you know, and they put the patch on. It's like OMG. You know, my dad, the other day, he just woke up with this horrible foot pain, I had to use the walker. My mom's walker, she uses it for stability. But anyway, so she, so he's, he's, he's hobbling around because he's in so much pain. So they, she, my mom texts me, oh my gosh, dad's in pain. So I said, okay, get out your ice wave. And I just said, put white on the right foot, tan on the left foot, drink lots of water, let me know what happens, right? So, you know, a little bit later, they t uh, text me back and they said, ah, 50% better already, that's so great. Dad had an amazing sleep, an amazing nap, and he got up and he was like 98% better, you know? So it's just, and then, you know, he's got, he's got chronic renal failure and he's got tons of medications that he wants to still be on, <laughs> you know, uh, because his doctor's telling me he's supposed to be on it, which is really toxic to his liver potentially as well. So, you know, so great that he doesn't have to take the Tylenol, right? Or to take the ibuprofen, which would be super toxic to the kidneys and could put him into dialysis. Yeah, so anyway, so I'm just so thrilled. So some people will use ice wave, that's for pain. We also have X39 stem cell enhancing patch, which for 80% of people, in my experience, they get immediate pain relief as well. But it's a single patch, so not everybody responds with pain relief with that patch, but that's a good one. And then the Eon patch, which I have on the top of my head, I did a Facebook Live about that yesterday, uh, the happy point. Um, that is an anti-inflammatory, so sometimes you can do a little cheat if you don't have the ice wave and you just put you know, the Eon patch wherever you have pain, and that often helps as well. So yeah, so I just wanted to explain to you why is it that, you know, the ibuprofen might, <laughs> might actually be true that it can make deaths worse. Uh, so it's not so much the drug as, as in like, just the whole idea of, of uh, the anti-inflammatories. It, it, people assume that it was safe before. I'm like, not really. You know, so if you find that this is helpful information um, and you find that, you know, and you think that other people might enjoy it or learn from it, then please do share this from my public Facebook page so that other people can know. And, and, and if you read the stuff about, you know, the ibuprofen, things like that, I mean, no one's talking about that, right? I mean, hardly anybody's talking about that. They're just talking about don't take it or take it or it's not true or it's true. I'm like, okay, the point is, is that these medications 
have toxicity side effects that affect the immune system. Your immune system in your gut, your gut is not so happy, right? And your kidneys aren't so happy, so if your organs don't function any well, of course you're at higher risk of potentially dying of a disease. Whether or not that's true or not, you're still at higher risk. Make sense? <laughs> okay, so let's just answer some questions here. Um, Marianne says, uh, I have an extension cord where I can turn off the power. Yeah, that's great. To your electronics, very good. Your living room, you are so good. Um, Brenda says, I have one of those Siemens Gigaset phones too. Yay, awesome, fantastic. I do feel like it's better. Marianne says, what's your thoughts on 5G? Um, yeah, 5G is really interesting. Uh, so I think that uh, the the frequency is not, um, let's see, not aligned with uh, human health. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of things that we have that aren't aligned with, you know, basic human health either. Uh, it is more penetrating, so potentially could be more harmful to humans. And I think there's a lot of data that shows that it probably is. Uh, and at the same time, uh, and well, and some people feel like the reason we're at home is so they can install all this 5G stuff without us knowing. I don't know if that's true. I um, wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know if that's true. The thing is, is that if we take care of ourselves to the max degree and work on our stillness and work on our, um, you know, uh, stress response and are fully responsible for our wellness, body, mind, and soul, guess what? We can transmute that frequency and that energy and uh, reconfigure and rewire our bodies to be more resilient to it. But I'm not, you know, but I'm not saying that's true for everyone or that we necessarily can do that or prove that we can do that for everyone because, you know, if someone's, you know, if someone's eating not consciously, okay, and they're stressed out all the time, they're not um, working on freeing negative emotions or trauma from the past. There's all these things that people can be doing that they're not doing. They're just living day to day, unconsciously, that kind of thing. To just do a topic and healing directive to make them more resilient to 5G may not work, right? May not work in the totality of things because they're not, they're not doing the self care to upkeep it. And the universe is probably like, well, you gotta kind of do your own work, you know? You can't have somebody do something for you all the time because you're not gonna evolve that way. So I believe that humans can evolve so that the 5G and all the EMF and everything is less harmful or not harmful at all. Um, and I, it's a long story why I think that is true. And um, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be responsible to do what's best for the collective and that is slowing down or not even rolling out 5G. So that's my personal two cents on that. Um, Carlos says, I'm interested to join the group. Awesome, so lightwarriornetwork.com will bring you right to the Facebook group or you can just search it on Facebook. Um, yeah, Rochelle says, yep, we pay the bills. That's right, you tell your teens. <laughs> They're gonna hate me. Okay, uh, okay, cool. Hey, Pina. All right, the group name, Light Warrior Network. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions. Um, Rochelle says, my father's 79, can't walk without taking ibuprofen. He's got heart issues and he's concerned about this for coronavirus. Yeah, so, you know, so, I, and, and the thing is, is that some people that have never really invested, um, and you could say money, invested money in their health and wellness may not ever do it. And, and that's sad for us as loved ones, but you know, it's it's not your body and it's not your life. We have to honor what it is they do. Now what you can do, for example, is you can give information, right? And you can ask questions. You know, would, you know, you can ask your dad, would you be open for a non-toxic alternative to ibuprofen that you would know within 30 days or probably in, in the terms of phototherapy, like within you know 24 40 hours okay whether that works as well and we often i mean we had one guy don collins and, and there's a video on him uh so i met don when i was doing a video testimonial type thing for lifewave uh when the eon patch was uh released don had been uh, blown up by a landmine um in, uh, in um vietnam and he had had up to that point 48 oh no wait yeah, 48 surgeries, 
Okay. And uh, he was on three different narcotics. Ibuprofen wasn't going to touch that. So he was on three different narcotics, um, including IV, and uh, his wife, you know, invited him to try these patches. And at the time, we had Ice Wave, and, and then um, he didn't believe that was going to work. He's like, I'm on three different narcotics. And she's like, honey, just just try it. I'm never going to ask you to try it again. You know, just just try it. So we went there, and uh, Dr. Quiley was there, one of my colleagues, and patched him up. And lo and behold, uh, she did the protocol. After the second or third placement, he was like, whoa, I feel something has changed, it's different. And long story short, uh, he was able to get off all of his narcotics, okay, and uh, he still had to have additional surgeries, but he got all his narcotics and then the Eon patch, when that was invented, the one for stress and inflammation, which I have on top of my head, that really made a huge difference. And now we have the stem cell enhancing patch, so it just blows it out of the water. So there are options, just not people, some people just don't wanna invest in that option, you know what I mean? Like, you, you just have to respect that that's how they want to spend their money, and it's okay. Um, people are like, oh, I'm not going to pay $99.95 for a patch. And I'm thinking, you're not going to pay $100 for a patch that could rejuvenate your body and cancel out all these years of <laughs> whatever. Okay, okay. But, you know, there's the same people that aren't going to spend the $10,000 of the regular price to have stem cell therapy, right? So, anyway. It's okay. We just gotta love them. Um, Miriam says, removing all parasites, mainly majority and fungus, helps remove pain and joints for me. No animal protein. Yeah. Excellent. Good for you. Um, how do you free your patients from parasites in the U.S.? Um, well, I do it energetically. Okay. I do it energetically, and then we just ask to see if there's any um, uh, supplements or things like that, that is for the highest good. But my main thing is really getting that immune system back up and running, right? So in the master class that I'm doing for free next Saturday, by the way, at 11 a.m., I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that because I, I my webinar thing is for 100 people and, uh, and there may be more than 100 people uh, doing it, so I have to figure out how to do it. Um, so we're gonna talk about the three different uh, immune systems uh, and so we want to get those three immune systems up and running and above 95% happy so yep and there's lots of great things for parasites that we can use but you know it's a very Western thought let's kill the parasites get rid of the parasite Eastern thought which is more right brain is like let's get the body stronger so it's not susceptible to parasites and it'll release the parasites naturally right so think about that um, Brenda says, Light Warrior Business Academy for Women in Network Marketing. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, thanks, Gwen. <laughs> uh, Light Warrior Holistic Moms Network. Uh, awesome. Okay. Uh, put Light and Warrior and Network together. Light Warrior Network. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's it. Unplug everything. Mariam says, great. I'll be doing that. Good for you. Good for you. Awesome. Marianne says, thank you. I totally agree. Mary Jo says, thank you so much for your wisdom. You are so appreciated, Karen. Thank you so much. That's very sweet. Um, Don Collins is his name. He has a little book on there. And um, uh, I think it's on Amazon, his book. But the video is on uh, LifeWave videos on YouTube. So you can check it out. So just type in Don Collins LifeWave. You can also check out the one that I'm in, <laughs> me and James. You know, Karen Can, James Gann, Life Wave. Okay, just check that out because uh, they did a really great job on that and showed us skating and all that kind of stuff as well. Okay, so um, yeah, this has been pretty long. So I think <laughs> as far as the, the spiritual stuff goes, uh, I think I'm going to leave that for a, a different a different uh, Facebook Live. But I was just going to just mention it briefly, and that was really about... Um, your, let's see, how do we say it? Um, your awareness, your awareness of your emotional state. So it's funny because people are like, joy, 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 joy is great. You should be joyful, blissful all the time. I'm like, no, <laughs> nature is not like that. Nature is like in waves, you know, nature is in waves. So uh, it's not normal to be joyful, blissful all the time. However, however, it is ideal to be in a place of neutrality and peace underlying whatever emotion goes on top of that 
temporarily, whether that be anger or joy or bliss or whatever that is. So we'll talk more about that in the next Facebook Live. So yeah, so thanks everyone for joining me. Uh, Mary Jo says, yes, your videos are wonderful. I think I watched them all. Yay, Mary Jo, woohoo. Awesome, awesome, okay, great. So yeah, so join me on Light Warrior Network. Um, I think there's a 99.9% .9 chance that uh, when I do the free training, on Saturday, next Saturday, we're gonna talk about the three immune systems, uh, how to, well, we're gonna be doing some, um, give you some hints on how I do energy healing related to immune system, how to support yourself through the coronavirus pandemic, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, etc. Uh, I think I may be streaming live on Light Warrior Network because um, I have, well, I mean, because my webinar thing that I wanna use, I just found out it's 100 people. And uh, if I stream live to the Light Warrior Network, then all 1,700 or however many people are on there, 2,000 something, anyway, um, have potential to watch it. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing is streaming it live to Light Warrior Network. So definitely, if you're interested, join Light Warrior Network. And uh, if you don't wanna miss it, just get on my mailing list at karenken.com because we'll send you an email reminder uh, before the class uh, comes up. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a great rest of the day.